Hello everyone, welcome to Undoubt Me. In this video, we are going to learn about relation and functions. As you can see over here, I'll be telling you the very basic about relation and function that how the whole concept is actually defined, how it is introduced. So this is moreover like an introductory lecture on relation and function. If you belong to any higher grades, then you can just watch this video as a revision to understand the basics about it. And if you are in any lower grade, like this video is applicable for any student of any lower grade, then you can also watch it very easily. You'll understand everything what I'll explain now. So just try to relate this thing with your real life relation. Relation means when we are talking about two people, they have some relation like friends. I say uncle, I say aunt, anything like that. We call them as relation. Okay. And function is something which we have like if I have some marriage function, if I have some school annual function, okay, if I have any feast, all these things we can call it as functions. Okay, so function has some prerequisite, it has some uh, preface, then execution phase, and then post phase. This is how the functions in our daily life are actually there. Okay, in mathematics, how relation and functions are actually defined. So the whole story starts from sets. Okay, I'll just give you an example. So let's say if I have a set A, which is having element 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I have another set B, which is having element A, B, C, D and E. Now, on these two sets, we define product. So product of sets is also called as A cross B. And A cross B is defined as some X comma Y element where X belongs to the first set while Y belongs to the second set. So this is a very basic fundamentals about product. Now from the product, if I actually do the product and if I actually apply that, then I can see that there are total five elements in the first set and five elements in the second set. So five times five, I will be getting 25 elements in the product. So in total in the product, I'm getting 25 elements. Okay. I hope that is clear and that is quite easily seen with the help of diagram also. Okay. But still we haven't talked about relation. Okay. So first we'll try to understand that what is a relation. So mathematically, relation is nothing but just a condition now this condition can be any mathematical expression also or it can be any condition okay anything it can be any statement as well okay and when this condition like we can call this this condition is a casual condition casual condition means it is not that strict when i can casually call someone as friend then that casual friend cannot be my girlfriend. Okay. I hope you understand that. Okay. So casual condition is called as relation. I can call any random person as my friend. So that will be called as relation. But when I say function, so for functions, mathematically, they are also defined by some conditions only the conditions can be any equation expression or any mathematical statement but this condition is a very strict condition as i said that i will be discussing with the introductory part so now i will be taking one example so that you can understand this thing with much more clarity so i hope that till now the base of product what are product at least what is relation and function these things are clear. Okay. Now we will be moving on to our real life example. That is a very good example with which after this video, you will never forget the concept of relation and function. So let us say in a school, in your class, in your grade, we have 30 boys and 30 girls. Okay. So we can consider them a set of boys and set of girls. I have just written the number. Okay. Now from the concept of product, which we have seen in the previous slide, I can say that the total number of elements in the product of B and G will be 30 cross 30 total elements that will be 900. 
okay so it literally means that there are total 900 possibilities with which a boy can interact with a girl like b1 can interact with g1 to g30 b2 can interact with g1 to g30 i hope you are understanding b1 is a name of first boy g1 to g30 are the name of 30 girls okay i'm just using the numbers so like that we'll be having 30 cross 30 900 possibilities and i can say that there are 900 possibilities through which boys and girls can have the pair of friends okay like i'm just talking about the possible pair of friendships between boys and girls i hope that till now what i am trying to explain it is clear after that i will put a condition now what is a condition condition is that out of these 900 people how many of them are actually friends now that is quite obvious that all 900 cannot be friends okay like if you are a boy or if you are a girl then you can't have all other uh, gender as your friend there can be more than one but not all exceptional cases are not discussed over here but in general they are not all okay so when i apply a casual condition that casual condition will make this thing as a relation okay so i'm coming on to my first topic that is relation so you can see that from the product i applied a condition I applied a condition of friends and I got a relation. So I can say that friendship is a relation. Okay, let's say because of that, a small filter, filter is applied on this 900 pairs and I got 200. 200 is just a number, a randomly chosen number. There's no logic. But yeah, if we apply the condition like this, then definitely out of 900 pairs, we can say that 200 pairs of boys and girls are in a relation and that relation is only friendship okay i'm not talking about the relationship of boyfriend and girlfriend okay as of now it is just casual friends casual friends means it is clearly specified that b1 as a boy can have friendship with g1 g25 g15 these are some random girl names i am writing okay it can be more than that also but it is fairly possible now just imagine if b1 is having friendship with multiple girls it is fine none of the girl will have a problem okay but if i make this condition more strict more precise and if i say that out of these pairs of boys and girls how many of them are actually girlfriend boyfriend okay try to understand that girlfriend boyfriend so now the condition is that boys and girls how many of them are girlfriend and boyfriend how many pairs are like that okay so i hope that you understand that what can be the repercussions of having more than one girlfriend okay so this is what will happen in a function that if this boy b1 let's say is having g1 as the girlfriend then he cannot have other girls as his girlfriend he can still have other girls as his friends okay so that is what we call it as a relation but when I say that B1 is related to G1 and they are girlfriend boyfriend, then that is called as functions. Okay, so finally that thing is known as function and in a function, you can see that condition have become more precise, more precise. So out of 200 pairs, it is fairly possible that in a class, there can be four or five pairs of girlfriend boyfriend. That is also too much, but it can be there okay so these four or five pairs have been filtered out from those 900 only from 900 i put filter number one that was of friends that is called as relation because in that there is a possibility that b1 can have more than one girl as a friend but if i am going more precise more strict in the condition that how many of them are actually girlfriend boyfriend so in that case i cannot say that b1 can have more than one girl as a girlfriend it will be chaotic the reason is obvious okay so the same conditions applied in a function also that one x value cannot have more than one y value if it is a function and yeah it is definitely possible if it is a relation okay so one x value will have only one unique y value that is a condition of function and i hope that you are pretty much clear with the concept of relation and function along with the products. So everything started from the sets. 
on the set we did the product then on the product we applied a condition that condition was a casual condition so we can call it as a relation and then on that relation we applied a very strict condition like in this case it was girlfriend boyfriend okay so i just got only five elements out of 900 elements and that i can call it as function okay so if you want more of such type of videos then do consider subscribing this channel share this video with your friends so that they can also learn relation and function which is a very chaotic topic for many students in the most funniest manner and if you like this video like it comment upon it about your views and do share it with your friends subscribe the channel see you soon in the next video